Oh man, it was very warm. That was like the first thing I noticed. I think that's probably the first thing everybody notices. You walk out of the airport and it's just so hot and humid. And I came at the end of August, so it's not like the super hot season in the Philippines, but it's still super warm. And um, I loved that. On the way to the mission home, we actually got pulled over by the police because something I guess was wrong with the van that we had. Anyway, it was really funny and kind of scary because you're just so not used to it. And <laughs> But the culture itself, um, yeah, I was just really surprised by how little I understood the language because in the MTC, like, you're listening to your MTC teachers talk and you can kind of pick up generally what they're saying, but, like, once you get there, it just, none of it made sense to me. <laughs> and it scared me a little bit, but it was nice having all the other missionaries there too because all of them kind of were going through the same thing. But yeah, that was kind of my first impression. Super hot. <laughs> so there's three main islands. There's Camote, Spohol, and Cebu. And um, Cebu is what, where the mission home is and also where the temple is. Um, there's two halves of the island, so the upper half is Cebu East and the lower half is Cebu Mission. And um, yeah, it's a lot of ocean. There's, because Cebu itself is a really thin island, and so almost all of my areas on Cebu were clo like super close to the ocean and just gorgeous, so green, so beautiful. Um, the temple was outside of our mission, but only by a little bit. And so you could go to the temple if you were, Oh, let's see. I think it before it was within two hours of like a two hour drive to the temple, but I think they've recently changed it, so you have to be a little bit closer. But you could go once every quarter of the year. So that was really nice. I loved being able to do that. That was such a blessing. Um, and then the island of Bohol is actually, I think pretty sure it's bigger than the island of Cebu. It's a pretty big island, but there aren't as many people there. It's a little bit more, um, it has a lot more farmland. And so there's not as many missionaries there, although it's pretty evenly divided between the two. And then um, Camotes is a really tiny island that when I was there only had one district, so it didn't have too many people. But you take a like a ferry in between all of the different islands. And then if there was ever like a mission, a whole mission gathering, you would go to Cebu. Church history, um, I don't remember what year they came, but it's definitely more recent. The church was introduced, I'm sure as you know, to the Philippines, um, English speaking. So they only taught in English and um, it wasn't until I don't know exactly when, but more recently that they started teaching in the native languages there. But, oh, as far as languages go, um, it's Cebuano throughout the whole mission, um, but each island has its different vocab, I guess you could say, and different accents. So in on Bohol, it's, they call it Boholano, so you switch the Ys and the Js for a lot of the words. And then for Camotes, it's also slightly different. I didn't serve there, so I'm not too familiar with how it's different, but I know that it's also very different sounding in each place you go, just kind of like in America where you have different accents. It's kind of like that, but also with a lot of new vocab. So 